Uh, going live. Okay, so now we're live. So first I just want to make sure I've got your permission to use this recording for promotional purposes, and that's okay with you. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to just ask you the question, and I'm going to let you take over, and here's the question. I want you to just say the three biggest problems you had, and then the way those were resolved, and then if you and then finish up with just one piece of parting advice. If you had to give one piece of parting advice, either to the Gabriella who is struggling for so long trying to figure it out, or a new artist, whoever you know, whoever you think can imagine. So three problems, the three solutions you got, and then that one piece of parting advice, that one piece of wisdom that we all wish we would have got. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll okay. do the best I can. Um, the uh, the three major problems I had before I contacted you, Anne, was um, a slow decline in my in my self confidence. Um, it didn't just it wasn't just overnight. It was the sense of losing touch with um, what the purpose of my work was beyond just selling it for the selling sake, you know, sales are always good. Needing to increase my sales was a big problem I was facing. Um, as a result, losing uh, a sense of focus, uh, confusion, and a bewilderment. I was wondering why wasn't I selling more than I thought I would be by now, and I've been a practicing artist in business. Uh, now I'm in business uh, for over 20 years. So I had come across an interview you had with, I think his name is Jonathan Fields. I was blown away by how you manifested your reality around making money around your artwork. I was so impressed with that and your articulation. And I thought I'd love to get, <laughs> get to know you. Who is this person? And it wasn't until Creative Live had done your first series, and I thought, oh, she's back in my sphere. I need to contact her and set up an appointment, and I was very glad I did. It's made a huge difference in my life since our, our process. Wonderful. Took time. Yeah. So you, had, time. You, had, you had common problems, so it sounds like you had a yeah. lack of focus, you had which was eroding your confidence, and mm -hmm. then it sounds like that was also bleeding into a fair bit of confusion about how yep. to sell your art. So how did you gain more focus? Let's start with that. Well, uh, what you did right away was uh, you asked me to do a vision map, which I thought, wonderful. at first I thought, why? What's a vision map have to do with selling more artwork? Uh, and went ahead with that with that um, assignment, and it was wonderful to lay out where I'd like to see myself in the next year to five years. Um, and the process that you take me through and you take your other artists through is, you know, the, the, the pain. You take us to where our deep, deep pain is, and from that, where the gems are. You know, you uh, it's a process you take us through, and. It's amazing the alignment that takes place over time with my artwork and the deep core values I have and the deep core pain I have. Right, um, and, you, to, and as you've got now found your purpose in that pain, so that's absolutely. So that's, that's how the fo you gain more focus through that. And how yeah. would you describe that you gained? Um, what gave you more confidence? Uh, to talk about my unique value proposition. Uh, I had tremendous lack of confidence when I was asked to talk about my art practice and the meaning of my art and what my inspiration is. I always lost footing around that. Now through this process and coming to terms with what my unique value proposition, I have something to talk about. I can stand strong, stand tall, um, not arrogantly tall, but stand firm um, discussing what my unique value proposition, because the alignment is there. It's who I am. It's what I can offer. Excellent. And, uh, and then in terms, oh, sorry. And then in terms of, yeah. um, so you've got increased focus and confidence, and then um, how did you, how was the confusion alleviated for you? Because you said you were quite, conf you were quite confused. Um, how is that result? Yeah. Oh. I understood uh, more clear what what it is I'm doing here with my paint and brushes and series of artwork. I realized 
actually, I'm, I'm creating thresholds, believe it or not. It came to me. Uh, it's not just about the aesthetic beauty of a piece anymore. It's about um, how my paintings move those that view it and purchase it, and it's about thresholds, if that makes any sense. It's, it's creating um, connection to my unique market. Right, so you understand, it sounds yeah. like what you're, 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 what you're saying is that you are, you're creating value above and beyond the aesthetics of your yeah. art now. I was, I was going to say, yeah, there's more value to, to the painting, that's right, right. Awesome. And it's lovely to see how that affects people who purchase them. <laughs> and it's lovely for me to see how it's affected you because yeah. you're like, you're the same person, but you're a different person. And I'm very proud of the work that you've done and how open and willing and vulnerable you were. And mm -hmm. um, I appreciate your time and um, you're willing to share this with other people so they understand yeah, the sure. way to do it. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll be in touch again. But I just want to thank okay. you again for your time today and your willingness to share. And I look forward to connecting again soon. Absolutely. Okay, and right, thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.